for Vancouver Point Grey. Your Honourable Speaker. Honourable Speaker, on Friday, Vancouver's only dedicated public health clinic for youth, the Pine Free Clinic, will close. The sign on the clinic's front door refers youth to a primarily adult clinic that has only 20 dedicated youth hours per week and no youth hours on Saturday. That's less than half of the time currently available to young people at Pine. Remarkably, this restructuring that is leading to Pine's closure will cause this government to spend more money, not less, eliminating this regional youth clinic which has operated under governments of every stripe for 41 years. Why is the minister closing this confidential and safe healthcare space for youth and sending the vulnerable young people who depend on it to adult clinics? Minister of Health. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Honourable Speaker. We have uh, talked about the changes to primary health care in uh, Vancouver Coastal in this House before. And I have also always said that health care must be dynamic, must respond to the needs of the population. So these changes, uh, Madam Speaker, have been done very thoughtfully. They will allow even more patients in the Vancouver community to have access to primary services, including youth. Uh, in fact, uh, Madam Speaker, the Ravensong Clinic will increase the hours of operation from five days a week, 12 hours a day, uh, sorry, we'll go to five days a week, 12 hours a day, instead of the current eight hours a day, and then eventually we'll be open seven days a week, 12 hours a day, more than doubling the current hours uh, that are available to vulnerable clients. Madam Speaker, I know over there that the expression change for the better sometimes doesn't work, but in this case, this is change for the better. Vancouver Point Grey on a supplemental. Honourable Speaker, don't take my opinion on this. This is a review commissioned by Vancouver Coastal Health by a family medicine expert from St. Paul's. This restructuring uh, will quote, is, quote, likely to reduce access to primary care for many high-needs patients like the youth at Pine who are now facing half the number of hours that they used to have. As Vancouver youth began, began to organize to try to save their clinic, Vancouver Coastal Health undermined their efforts by releasing a misleading poster with the headline that said, none of our nine community health centers are closing. The Pine Clinic was listed as one of nine community health centers on the VCH website. Instead of engaging youth on this issue that affects them, giving them accurate information and asking them their opinion, this government released misleading information that frustrated their organizing efforts. How can the minister justify this? Minister of Health. Thank you very much, uh, Madam Speaker. I had the opportunity to tour Ravensong Clinic, uh, which will have expanded uh, hours and availability to vulnerable patients uh, in the Vancouver area. Uh, Madam Speaker, it is, I know it, nothing, there was a health minister you, who used to say, nothing should ever change in the NDP world. So I won't say that, Madam Speaker. I have to be a little more original. But in fact, in fact, Madam Speaker, we must be responsive to the changing needs of the population. And the expanded service at the clinics in Vancouver uh, Coastal will allow vulnerable youth to have better and increased access to health care, including confidential sexual and reproductive health care and mental health care and addiction services. Ravensong will offer 60 hours of youth clinic services five days a week and then will expand to 84 hours a week in 2015. That's an increase, Madam Speaker, from the 30 hours of Pine, uh, which was open only uh, 54 hours per week. Madam Speaker, we are looking after the vulnerable population in Vancouver Coastal. We are making sure those services are available to youth. This really is change for the better. Okay. 